said, I wish Jesus just appeared in person. Because all that is most important is Jesus. We are just human beings. We live at most 120 years and is gone. But Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Everybody say hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you so much. I've been blessed since last night. I was telling my executive assistant this morning, I said the message I preached here last night, I woke up since 2.25 this morning and preached it to my people in Africa and to one of our bishops in Tulsa this morning. I just believe that the most important thing in one's life is to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. You can be a champion in any field. If you miss heaven, you wish you were not born. And so, your greatest opportunity on earth is to know Jesus. Uh, the world-renowned singer said in one of Billy Graham's program, he said, take the whole world, but give me Jesus. And I believe that it is important to have things on earth, but the most important thing is to have him who have everything. And Jesus is the name of the person. I welcome all of you here to the house of the Lord this morning. We are out here to hear what God has for us that can help us be better human beings and live a better life in the world where men and women struggle every day to live, to succeed, to live, to achieve something, to live, to become doers and not just hearers only. This afternoon, I'm going to take you through a Bible study, if you like to call it Bible study, but I prefer to teach when I come to a church like free gospel like this because i believe that faith comes by hearing the word of god and if you want anything to last in people plant it as a seed that they will never forget so turn with me to the book of acts chapter 2. i want to deal on an important subject this morning what i call i gave it two titles for the person producing the program. The first title of the message is Light for your darkest hour. How many of you would like to have light in your darkest hour? And you know whom Jesus said he is? He's the light of the world. You need him in your darkest hour. Or what I call my second title, God can relocate you from where the devil put you. If I say this at home, they will shout. I said, God can relocate you from where the devil put you. How many of you want to be relocated? You're tired of being in prison. You know what location is? How many of you know location? You know where you live? Some of you live in good houses, and some of you live in slums. Some of you live in dirty areas. Some, when I first came to America for the first time, Bishop, Somebody said to me, these are the black people's area. It was very easy to know the way they described it. I see some blocks lifted and put some plank on top of it with roof. They say black people's area. But thank God that God does not look at us the way man look at us. And let me say this before I, I go to the message. Sometimes it is not the devil that put you where you are. But your lack of knowing whom you are puts you where you are. Did you hear what I'm saying? Many times, many times, people of my color like this, they say the white man made me what I am. It's not true. It's your brain. It's your brain. My skill is my job. I love my color because I know my color. The man who called me gave me my skin and I love my skin because the Bible says God made them in his image and likeness. If nobody like you, you like yourself. 
Somebody say hallelujah. Just begin to learn how to like yourself. And if you look at the mirror, say, wow, who? Is that me? Oh my God. Made in the image of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Every morning, I go to the mirror and say, God, you did something good. Something good. Oh Lord, oh Lord. I, 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 and then to increase my joy, the Bible says, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. And I just look at my feet and say, beautiful. Because I preach the gospel, beautiful. Now you have to learn. Before you ask people to love you, you have to love yourself first. And no man, Baramila, no man can demean what Christ has esteemed. If Jesus esteemed you, no man can demean you. But if you look at yourself, oh, I'm a black man, so I'm stupid. It's not because you are black, you are stupid because you want to be stupid. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? I live in Africa. I have staff from nine countries. Nine nations. My staff are from nine nations. Black, white, green, yellow, whatever color you want to call yourself. I thank God I'm not white. I thank God I'm not black. Did you hear what I'm saying? 19. 62, the year you started this, I was weeping in my room. I said, God, why am I black? Look at me. You don't use any black man. And God said, are you black? I said, yes. Sir. I didn't know. <laughs> 33 years ago, God said, I didn't know you are black. I said, why? He said, because I never made a black man. Oh God. I said, why did you not make black man? He said, because every man I made, I made in my image and likeness. <laughs> don't let people talk you to senselessness. You don't want to go to school because you are black. You don't want to do a good job because you are black. Get out of where people put you and go to where God sent you. Somebody say hallelujah. Get up and be whom God wants you to be. Get up and be like Jesus. Wake up and be like God. Look at yourself and say I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I'm a child of God. Everybody say hallelujah. Nobody's like you in this world. You're a special specimen. God doesn't have two people like you. So when somebody look at you and say, you black nigger, say, you, me? You're wrong. <laughs> Tell them they are wrong. And don't behave like what they call you. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? That your song just now can win world prize. Don't wait for anybody to promote you. Take it everywhere and say, this song can do you good. This song can do you good. Yes, you know how Muhammad Ali beats every boxer in his time? He look at them and say, I'm going to knock you out. You're going down round five. Right. After round three, the people begin to say, one more round before he knocks me out. <laughs> one more round. <laughs> because he told them, Ali was a prophet of knockout. And you can prophesy to where you are going in this world. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Don't, don't look at yourself and say, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, oh my... I'm coming back. I'm coming back here sometime. I'm, I'm going to come back here. I want to come back here. If Jesus give me the time, I'll try to be back here next year. I want to be back here. You know, when you look at yourself, you are looking at God in human form. A doer of impossible things. And you know, when you want to move, when you want to become small, Begin to talk to small people. If you want to become great, look for great men and talk with them. If you want to be big, hang around a big man. If you want to be great, stop talking with mean people.
that done. All right. When you come to Africa, you'll be embarrassed to see what God has done. We who, because people told me I was like monkey, I began to look like God. Because I don't want to look like monkey. And as God will have it, the government of my country began to open the door for the Americans to come to Africa and buy all the monkeys. So most of the monkeys in Africa, they are not in America. Did you hear me? My children have never seen snake. They hear of it. They never seen. All the snakes have been brought to America. They've gone to England. When people say you are ugly, make yourself beautiful. That's what I'm. That's what I'm after this morning. When they say you are lazy, determined to be strong. Yes, sir. And tell yourself not what they say, but what I want to be. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? You just tell yourself. Tell yourself, I will never be what you want me to be. I'm going to be what God says I am. I will teach you a chorus this evening. One of the choruses I composed, it says, I am what God says I am. I'm a winner, I'm not a loser. I'm on top and not at the bottom. I'm a conqueror, not defeated. I'm on top and not at the bottom. I am whom God says I am. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12, the Bible. Oh Lord. Go ahead, go ahead. See? Go ahead. Only one thing I have never succeeded to do in my life. One single thing. I've done many things in my life. Only one thing I have never succeeded to do. Point your hand to me and say, What is it? What I refuse to do. That's the only thing I've never done in my life. Once I say I want to do something, do you know what the Bible says? You are in the image and likeness of God. Do you think Jesus will wake up now in Maryland, today, Sunday, and say, I'm not well? You think Jesus will talk like that? Please respond back. You think Jesus will wake up and say, I don't know how I feel. I'm asking you. You think Jesus will wake up and say, well, the government is shut down, so I'm shut out. You think Jesus will talk like that? Clinton and Dome may be shut down, but Jesus is alive. You know, people come to me, Debbie, they say, I hear so many bad things about happening in Nigeria. I say you heard from wrong people. If you want good news, see me. I'm the ambassador of good news. Oh God. Oh Lord. Chapter 12. Everybody say Acts 12. Verse 5. Say it loud. Acts chapter 12. Verse 5. Now say the two together. I didn't hear you. Okay, read it loud. One to go. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. And, but, but, but. Say that to everybody. But. Say that to everybody. But. For every negative, there's a positive but. Not how you got to prison, but how you are going to get out of prison. The man who sent you to prison is not important, but the man who brings you out is most important. you fell mama green 
How you and I fell is not important, but how we get up is very important. Peter was put in prison, but, oh God, oh Lord, Peter was put in prison, but, but, but what? But what? But what? But what? Prayer was made. Somebody shout hallelujah. The key to getting out of prison is not crying in the prison. Did you hear what I'm saying? When you want to get out of prison, you don't cross your feet and begin to, Oh God, oh devil, oh Satan, oh darkness. No, Peter was put in prison. P-U-T, put, but, prayer. Listen to my English. I'm a professor in the university. Prayer was not, prayer was not borrowed. Hear my English. Prayer was not borrowed. Prayer was made. Prayer was made. It's time for you and I to manufacture solution. Don't look for solution. Create a solution. Because if you're looking for a solution, that is the answer somebody has made. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Don't look for a solution. Create a solution. Don't look for remedy make a remedy say to yourself i've stayed long enough in prison it's time to get out from prison can anybody say hallelujah, hallelujah. but prayer was made they didn't look for good anthony they didn't look for sapiro they didn't look for cochran they didn't look for dodin they didn't look for Masha Clark. They didn't look for the, the winning team. They didn't look for the team of fighting lawyers. When they saw Peter in prison, they said, Oh, is that what you did? You killed James. Fine. You killed Stephen. Fine. You now want to kill Peter. No. Every time men are tired, of problem they can find solution the worst thing you can do to yourself as a young man is for you to agree that where they put you in prison is a good place Amen. do you hear what i'm saying Amen. i said did you hear what i'm saying yeah. press give you wrong figure of how many black young men are in prison you take it how many black women are prostitutes you take it it's time for you to say, fine, if every black person is in prison, I'm not going. <laughs> Did you hear what I'm saying? So if they say, 200 black men in prison, say, I'm not there. Are you there? Are you in prison? The problem is not what your neighbors say. It is what you do. When we started our ministry a few years ago, they said, it's going to last for five weeks. That's what they told me 36 years ago. They said it will last for five weeks. Well, take five weeks out of 36 years. You still have 36 years. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What of those who told me I couldn't? Do you know what they said? They said, he can't make it. And immediately they say, you cannot make it. I say, it's true, I can't. But God can. I can't. I can't. Eleven years, I believe what they said. And I was behaving like what they said. When you say they can't, I say I cannot. Why? Because they said so. Twenty-five years ago, God said you can do all things through Christ. 
I got up one morning and said, I, I am not a possibilitarian. I refuse to be what you call me. I refuse to be whom you say I am. I am whom God says I am. Can somebody say amen? amen. Verse 5. Peter was put in prison. But prayer was made. Prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him not to the white house but to the most high every time we are in trouble financially we are looking for food stamp every time you are in trouble you are looking for green card Every time you have financial problem, you want to become a Democrat. There's a power bigger than party. And the name of that man is Jesus Christ. Prayer was made by the church. Unto God. Without season for him. Look at verse 6. Read it with me. When Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. Look at me, everybody. Remove, raise your head up. Sir, Peter was bound with chain in prison. But Peter's body was in prison. His spirit was not in prison. May I repeat what I'm saying? Peter was in prison, but prison was not in him. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Peter was chained and put in prison. But Peter said, oh my God, I've never had vacation for the last one week. Oh, praise the Lord. You can sleep in your darkest hour. You can sleep in your darkest hour. Peter was not looking for who no Herod. The Bible said Peter was sleeping. But I pray that that day will come. When the enemy thinks they've done you harm, God will do you good. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? When man chain you by hand and feet, you free your spirit. Bishop Green, Peter slept in prison. And Peter was sleeping in prison between two soldiers. Soldiers were holding their gun. You can't move. Peter said, I'm moving nowhere. I can hear the soldier say, how are you able to sleep? Peter said, you are the one in prison, not me. You know, Peter have never had the privilege before to be guarded by two soldiers. Oh, you don't know the meaning of that. It's the first time government paid soldiers to guard Peter. He's never had bodyguards. And government gave him two. And now Peter said, okay, if you can guard where I am, so I can sleep while you are walking. Do they understand English? You think they are hearing what I'm saying? If I have two bodyguards, there's no need for me to have sleepless nights. You watch over me while I do the sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Peter, are you not afraid? No. Why? I have bodyguards. He began to sleep. And when God saw that Peter was not panicking because of Herod, read me verse 6, loud, clear, and loud, clear. Loud, clear, verse 6, one to go.
verse 7. brother see brother stand here stand there hold your gun Peter go and sleeping don't wake up hold your gun do you know keep your job if you move you say that Peter you just be dreaming you and Jesus are in conversation. It's well with your soul. It is well with your soul, brother. Keep your guard. Keep your guard. Don't, 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 don't take your eyes from me. That's your job. Now who is in trouble between the three of them? The two men. What is Peter doing? I think he's saying, but but Amila, you know the song going. You don't, no, you don't need the instrument. Can you just go ahead with your job? Can you just say with me? It is well with my soul. Can you sing it there? It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. My soul. Go ahead, Peter. Sleep, sleep, sleep. When God saw that Peter was sleeping and not listening to what Herod was doing, I pray you understand my English. When God looked down, so that we are in trouble guarding Peter. He dispatched his personal, his personal ADC. The angel of the Lord who holds the sword of spirit and power. And say, go to prison. And the angel of the Lord came, bishop, and did this. So just as he guarding, and look at what he did. Everybody shout hallelujah. Listen to what the angel said. Keep your job. Because you think Peter is still there. So keep your job. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Angel came and said, Peter, get up. Rise up. Wherever God meets you that he didn't put you, he will take you out of it. If God is not the one that puts you in prison, and he sees you sleeping in prison, he's going to send his angel to take you out of prison. Somebody say yes. Listen to me, everybody. The first thing the angel did. Verse 7, read verse 7, read verse 7. Read verse 7, everybody, quickly. Verse 7. Behold! The angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined. Light shine In the place of your darkest hour, Byron. God never add darkness to our darkness. He takes our darkness. Do your job. Don't move one inch. Stay there. Because you think Peter is still sitting with you. So guard him. He brought light. Which is Christ. 
The angel said, Peter, what did he say when, he, when light shone? What did he say? And he smote Peter on he the side. smote him by the side. And raised him up. Raised him up. Arise up quickly. Arise up quickly. And his chain fell off. His chain fell off. If you have any chain in your life, this is the day for your chain to fall off. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Now listen to me. Listen to me. Don't, don't, don't just shout, but hear this. You have to be a believer of what I'm saying now. If you want your chain to fall, you don't sit down in prison. Get up. Everybody get up first. Rise up first. I say rise up first. Why did I ask you to get up? Because there's light coming to you right now. What you are hearing now is light. What is happening now is light. The word of God is light. The word of God is power. Peter, get up. Light, shine. Peter, get up. And what did the angel do in verse 8? Listen to what he did. Remain standing, verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Guide thyself and bind on thy sanders. And he did so. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? God doesn't come, Mila, to take what we have. He come to give us what we own. Anything they took from you in the world, God will put it back to you. God will give you garment to put on. Salvation does not make one naked. Salvation does not make you shoeless. Salvation give you shoe. Salvation give you clothes. Salvation make you beautiful. Somebody say yes. Don't tell me you are dirty because you are a Christian. You are not dirty because you are a Christian. You are. Don't tell me because you are a Christian. That's why you have no house. You have no house because you are lazy. Don't tell me you have no car because you are a Christian. You are not having car. Not because you are a Christian. It's because you don't want to ride a car. Do your job, Peter. 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 Follow me. Peter got out of prison. Soldiers are still guarding. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Look at the next verse. Verse 9. He went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel. But though he saw a but thought he saw a vision. Verse 10. When they were past the first and the second world, they came unto the iron gate that led into the city which opened Opened, 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 opened of his own accord. Shout yes. Shout yes. Everybody shout yes. I did hear what God told me. The gate that I cannot open doesn't need to be opened by me. God will open it for me on his own accord. Is there anybody here who want God to open their gate for them this morning? Say yes! Say I! Every gate that you were shut in by the enemy. Today, every gate shall open in the name of Jesus. Every prison door is open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tap your leg and say, Yes, Lord. Say, Yes, Lord. You struggled enough. 
it's time for you to sleep it's time for you to rest for God to do your job is anybody hearing my prophecy this morning God knows how much you try to succeed God knows how much you fought to win God has asked me to tell you the battle is no more your own but the loss the battle is a loss the battle is a loss learn how to rest in restless situation learn how to say to yourself I am no more going to struggle to succeed I'm going to learn to rest upon the Lord for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength somebody say yes Lord Angel came, soldiers are still busy. They didn't know when Peter woke up. They didn't know when he put on his shoe. Brother, put your shoe. Take it off and put it back. Take your coat and put it back. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking. Oh, Lord. Oh, is anybody hearing what I'm saying? This Bible must be practicalized. Don't think of what God said. Do what God say you do. The angels, well, that's enough, that's enough. Put on your shoe, man of God. Say with me, he put on his shoe. Where were the soldiers? They are still standing. Did they see the angel? Say, no. Put on your coat, man of God. God is not only going to put new shoes feet that have no shoe God is going to put coat on your body that have no coat can anybody say hallelujah can everybody say hallelujah God will not only put shoe to your feet God will not only put coat to your body God is going to take you out of the prison God is going to say this is not the way this is the way to go and every chain <laughs> Every chain, every gate, every gate, every gate, every gate, every door that the devil closed, God is going to open the door. Somebody say, yes, Lord. If you want to get out of prison, sleep. If you want to get out of prison, sleep. If you want to go away from prison, sleep. Don't let soldiers. It doesn't matter how many soldiers. It doesn't matter how many soldiers. My God is sending down his angels. They are on their way. They are coming to your prison. They are going to give you shoe. They are going to give you coat. They are going to take you out.
Excuse me. Put your eyes on me. Put your eyes on me. The Holy Ghost told me last night. The Holy Ghost told me last night. Divine intervention is coming for you. God is going to supernaturally do for the free gospel church and every member of this ministry a work that no man can claim it. God is going to do something new in the name of Jesus. your hands down look at me God sent the fourth man to the fire when Shadrach Meshach and Abed Negro were sent to the fire God sent the fourth man Everyone that come before you tomorrow morning, the gates are open on their own accord. <laughs> Business gates, marriage gates, home gates, employment gates, promotion gates shall open on their own accord. Ministry gates. Ministry gate shall open. Say shall open on their own accord. That's what God told me. That's what God told me. That's what God told me. The gate that the devil shut you in, and he knows. You don't have the instrument. You don't have the key. But God is your key. You watch your ministry from today. Drink it. In the name of Jesus. is about to do the unusual in your life in your marriage in your business in your home in everything that concerns you God is about to do the unusual somebody say yes Lord, yes, Lord. that lady that God healed her bone you have a new feet. Your leg is healed. Everybody in your head is healed. Your eyes are healed. Your mouth is healed. Your belly is healed. Everything about you. God is about. God is about. To give you. An unusual miracle. Amen. Did you hear me? Yes. Yes. Everybody say hallelujah. 
every disease in your body every sickness in your body by the authority in the name of Jesus of Nazareth from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be loose in Jesus name be free in Jesus name thank you Lord open your mouth and say thank you Lord open your mouth and say thank you Lord raise your hand and say thank you Lord in Jesus name everybody say amen